What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today we're going to be talking about the subclasses in Destiny 2 and more importantly the ones we haven't seen just yet, discussing some more leaked information suggesting the Night Stalker, Sunbreaker and Stormcaller might also be returning as well. So in one of my recent videos I covered a pretty big leak for Destiny 2 that came out just before the actual reveal and they gave every single detail about Destiny 2 that was 100% correct. I mentioned how the Trials mode is now apparently going to be called Trials of the Nine, but also in that post they talked about subclasses which I wanted to focus on in this video. So we already covered the legitimacy of this post and how they clearly have some kind of inside info from Bungie because they knew all the stuff about Destiny 2 before it was revealed, but something else interesting they said in the post was that Golden Gun, Voidwalker, Striker, Night Stalker, Stormcaller and Sunbreaker will all return, though we'll see massive changes to them. Blade Dance is going to be replaced by a class that uses an Arc Bow Staff, Sunsing is being replaced by a class that uses a Solar Sword, and Defender is being replaced by a Void Captain America. So as of right now, Bungie has only of course revealed 6 subclasses, so the Hunters have the Gunslinger and the Arc Strider, the Titans have the Striker and Sentinel, and the Warlocks of course has the Void Walker and Dawnblade. They haven't actually confirmed anything about a third subclass for each, so Night Stalker, Sunbreak and Stormcaller yet. But there's something interesting I noticed in all the trailers when they show the inventory screen which kind of suggests there might be three subclasses and next to the actual subclass icons you can see two other nodes next to it meaning there are going to be three subclasses for each class and it's not like Destiny 1 where there was an empty block there, this basically suggests that there's going to be three of them. So following on from that if there are going to be three more subclasses what are they most likely to be? Well you can almost guarantee that Bungie aren't going to be hiding three completely brand new subclasses up their sleeves so obviously if there was they would definitely be revealing and announcing it and that's why it makes a lot more sense these could be the Night Stalker, Sunbreaker and a Stormcaller just revamped and kind of upgraded and overhauled like we have seen the Gunslinger, Striker and Voidwalker so far. It also of course does make sense in terms of the elements because the Hunter is missing some kind of Void subclass, the Warlocks are missing Arc and the Titans are missing a Solar subclass and also the fact that they're all roaming supers which is something very interesting that Bungie have actually talked about in how basically all the supers in Destiny 2 they're basically going away from any supers that were tactical or defensive and they want all the supers as you can tell to be roaming supers they're all roaming now and again that's why it makes even more sense that Stormcaller and Sunbreaker might return because of course they are roaming supers. Now something else I found really interesting in that leaked post was how they described the actual supers and it made me understand why these new supers are the way they are and at first honestly I was disappointed when I saw the Arc Strider for the Hunter, I thought it looked exactly the same as a Blade Dancer and I was wondering why it was so similar but this post described the kind of grand scheme of things and Bungie basically overhauling all 9 supers we currently have but also replacing the 3 that they didn't like and probably caused balance issues with 3 new and massively improved ones. You can definitely imagine why they would want to get rid of the Sunsinger because the self res ability does break a lot of mechanics in the game and it really can be incredibly powerful in some situations. I'm definitely going to miss it myself, I think it was a really really awesome super. Also the bubble is the same thing, it's probably my favourite titan subclass but I guess they thought it was too powerful too. And also the blade dancer, let's face it, that's always been very troubled as a super. It had a lot of problems, it can be incredible as a subclass, it was definitely my favourite until it got nerfed. But the Arc Strider is Bungie basically overhauling the Blade Dancer and I guess they're making it what they always want it to be. And they also changed the Sun Singer to have a sword and throw fire at people. And the Defender Bubble is now a shield that you can throw at people's heads or use a shield or a melee weapon. So like I said at first I thought the Arc Strider was just another Blade Dancer. But if you think about it as a replacement of the Blade Dancer it does actually make a lot more sense. So it's almost like the Golden Gun and Striker, those have been upgraded slightly, whereas the Blade Dancer and Sun Singer and Defender, those have been upgraded massively with all new supers. The Nova Bomb is the only weird one because we still don't know exactly what it does. We've only ever seen it in this very quick clip, and it seems almost like you throw these small Axiom Bolts at the enemy. Not sure what they do, but they seem to destroy this Minotaur boss pretty easily. But I'd imagine it's probably in line with the other supers, and it's now roaming, so you throw multiple at the same time you keep on throwing them until it runs out. So let me know down below in the comment section, do you think we're going to be getting only 6 subclasses in Destiny 2 or do you believe the leak and do you think we're also going to be getting those Night Stalker, Sunbreaker and Stormcall as well? Now I personally would absolutely love to see the Night Stalker return I really do hope it's true because it was by far my favourite subclass in all of Destiny and of course the Hunter seeing as I do play the Hunter as my main character but if I could only pick one subclass to play it would by far be the Night Stalker simply because it's so useful in both Crucible and PvE as well but the question does remain, is it going to be as useful in PvE with the whole tether ability? Because I can't really imagine Bungie having it be the one shot thing. I think it is also going to be a roaming super where maybe you have six shots like the Gunslinger and you fire them over time. 
But the question is, is it going to have that kind of weakened ability where you can do bonus damage or is it going to be completely different and be now an offensive super? Because Bungie did say in those interviews they want them to be a lot more aggressive and offensive as opposed to defensive and tactical. Now one thing I haven't actually talked about yet is my thoughts on the subclasses after playing with them at the LA event. So honestly they do feel kind of weird but I don't really love or hate either of them. I do think a lot of the perks are centered a lot more towards the supers as opposed to general kind of passive abilities like they had to before. But one of the main things I'm definitely not a fan of is how they're kind of like congregated into two groups. So of course as you can see here you can basically pick either the top group of four perks or the bottom. You can't mix and match. And that was one of the main kind of core features of Destiny 1. You can customize your subclass and run exactly the loadout that you want. But now you actually don't have much choice. You have to pick either the top four or the bottom four. And there might be a perk you want in either, but you have to choose between them. Which I don't think is a good idea personally. It may be for Crucible, but for PvE, I really think there should be more customization. So hopefully they kind of mess around the perks. Obviously it's still an early build, so they've got plenty of time and probably will be doing a lot of tweaking and changing. But I also want to wait and see what the other subclass is, how their perk columns are laid out before I judge them too much. But one thing I'm definitely a fan of is how they've added the abilities. The Blessing of Light, Weapons of Light is now on the Warlock, so you can have that universally. It doesn't matter what subclass you're using, you always have that. Also, of course, the Titan with this kind of mini shield that you can cover over to reload or defend yourself. And also, of course, the Shade Step, which is probably my favorite thing of the entire subclass revamp. You can shade step on any subclass now, which I absolutely love. And I've always joked that if the Gunslinger had the shade step, it would probably be my favorite class in the game and I would never not use it. But now they've essentially got that, so you can mix and match. And I'm definitely really interested to see what the Night Stalker, if it does exist, what kind of perks that has to make it unique. And also, of course, that Arc Strider. So I'm really looking forward to see what they have and then I'll judge it a lot more closely. But of course, let me know all of your thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you agree or disagree? What do you think so far about these subclass skill trees? And what do you want to see from the classes going forward? So as always, if you enjoyed this video, a like rating would be much appreciated. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.